Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today in this tutorial we will learn about dead time picker in C Sharp Visual Studio. So let's start. I have opened this uh, empty project and I have this win empty window form in it. If I run this, you can see that we have nothing on this uh, window form. So I'll close it down and now I'll come to this toolbox and drag in a dead time picker. Now I have drag it, let me place it at the middle. Now I can customize this uh, dead time picker. These are the properties. If I click on this uh, window form, these are window form properties. And if I click on this uh, uh, dead time picker, then these, uh, this panel is uh, dead time picker properties. Now uh, alternately you can click on this and go to these, these, these properties and it will show it here. Now I want to select the minimum and maximum debt uh, on this debt time picker so I'll come to down and I will search for min debt. So I have it here this is max debt and this is min debt so first I will select the min debt and now I'll click on today's debt so that I can select it now I will click on this year and I will go to year 2000 the 2010 and now it is 2000 I will click this I will click on January so I want my main date to be 1 1 uh, 2000 so it is selected here 1 1 2000 now for max date I'll come here and now I will change it to uh, today's date. So now if I run this, now you can, if I click on this and if I go back, you will see. I can't go below 2000 we have no debts below 2000 and we will have no debts about 2000 uh, years about 2020 about 2020 so I've customized the date now I want uh, uh, to customize it a bit more so I'll come to properties and I can make now I want to change the format of the date so I will search for format so here we have the format it is long so I'll make this short now if I run this you will see that it will be showing only that time and day will not be present in this now I can also make it time and now you can see that only time is present in this uh, dead time picker so I will close it down and now I will make a custom date now to create a custom date in this uh, date time picker I have to check the property called custom format this is a custom format so I will use here first I want to show month then year and then date day so now I have to also change the format here as well to custom so I will change it to custom and now if I run this
now you can see first the month is shown then the year and then the date so that's all for today i hope you like the tutorial and if you like the tutorial please like subscribe and comment thank you